What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're going to have another look at Demonology, but this time we're going to do it at 1440p. 1080p ran pretty good, it has had some stutters here and there, but for the most part more than playable, so figured let's try 1440p too, since a lot of people have that version of this laptop. So, why don't we not waste any more time, get that thing hooked up to the capture computer, and go see what it can do. Of course, if it can't hit 60 all the time, we'll go through the settings, but I have a feeling it should be able to, no problem. But, only one way to find out. Out. Let's get it hooked up and go and hop to it. All right, so now we've got some 1440p on the demonologist. So we're going to do the same thing as last time. We'll just see if it can handle the game maxed out. If it can't, of course, we will come back and try to force it to, like, give us good FPS and whatnot. But I'm thinking it'll probably be able to do well over 60. And in a game like this, all I care about is getting over 60. Steam Deck, I can I can deal with 30 or something because I know that the guy's kind of hard to get 60. But with this one, it has to be over 60. I don't I don't accept anything less. Anyway, let's get into the game. Well, all right, guys, here we are in the tent at the beginning of the game, which is one of the hardest places to run. At least it was on the Steam Deck anyway, and we're still well over 60. And you know what? I think I figured out why I can somewhat tolerate 30 and 40 on the. Steam Deck. I think it's because you use it almost like a console, and it's a controller more often than not. Sometimes I'll use the thumbs, the little touch pads, like when I'm doing a first-person shooter video for you guys or something, but generally I don't play any games where I get a lot of use out of those. I can't see a thing. Yeah, this would definitely be pretty fucking creepy in real life. Hey, there we go. We got children laughing. That's good. Yeah, you want that when you walk into a house. Hey, let's get some light on the subject. And I, when I did all these recordings, I had no sound on my capture computer, so I think most of the scariness and whatnot was lost. <laughs> like that, for example. Like, I think I was like kind of halfway surprised that a ghost appeared in front of me, but since I didn't have the audio that that thing made, it actually made me jump a little bit when I'm here with my headphones on, because I was not expecting any sound. So that was pretty fun. What else do we got in this house? Well, so far we're way over 60 FPS still, so that's good. There's no uh, Uja board on the fucking gl ground, so obviously it changes every time you start the game back over. Oh shit, where the hell am I heading to now? I have no idea, I can't see a damn thing. Okay, go to the light. Oh, it got growls. Didn't hear any of that before. Oh, we were deaf before, so we didn't hear shit. <laughs> I wonder if it'll follow me out of the house and, like, come out here and chill. Or if I have to be in the house to see any spirits or stuff. But hell yeah, I like this game's smoothness. There's, like... Almost no stutter to this game at all. I think every once in a blue moon we might get one, but for the most part, this thing's like butter. And it's still like an early access game. Now I have a question. Would this game be considered a double A game, or would this be considered an indie game? I've never really like gotten the whole like like what constitutes is that. I know like triple A is, you know, the big boys, you know. When they make like a huge AAA title, you know, that's like the crim de la crop, the best games they're capable of making. But even big guys will make double A games sometimes. Like One Piece Odyssey, for example. That's kind of a double A game. As much as I love One Piece and anime and whatnot, that, that was never meant to be a triple A title, I don't think. But then I figured it doesn't a game doesn't have to look like Vampire Survivors to be considered an indie game either. So I was like, huh, wonder what the actual definition is, if anybody really knows. I know I could just go look it up, but that's fucking boring. It's fun to just, you know get your the community's opinion. That's fun to get your guys' opinions on shit. That and everybody has a different opinion too. So you get a whole bunch of different opinions. I have no idea what this goofy thing is. It's almost like a freaking pocket watch, but, like, it's got some weird jewel in it and shit. Like, am I supposed to be able to see spirits through the, like, if I hold it up and look through the eye, am I supposed to see, like, stuff that's unseen? 
Who knows? We've got our skull and all of our weird lights flopping all over the place. So I think that generator back there is powering all of this shit. And probably the house. So it has electricity. So I'm supposed to detect the type of ghost. Which can only be done alone. I can change the camera source here. And that must be like my mental health or something. It was at 92 when I was on the Steam Deck. So I guess I'm doing better this time around. So that's good. But in any case, why don't we go ahead and use this opportunity to go ahead and move on to some camera recorded gameplay now. Well, all right, guys. Let's get ourselves a little camera recorded gameplay now. I get in here. I got myself caught in a place I haven't been to in the house before. I don't know how the fuck to get out of here. Where the hell did I go? We got a fucking flashlight or some shit. found that dress thing from the beginning. Big-ass library.
sure can go in there, but I don't know if I can go in that door. It might not even be a real door. What's in here? Uh oh. Well, no light in there anymore. No, Misty, I'm busy making a video. You can't go in front of the t uh, in front of the camera right now. You're very cute. Yes. Misty, <laughs> you silly kitty. Come here. Meh, I know. Yeah. Okay, cool. Stuff's moving around and closing and doing shit. Who said you could close the door? You bastards. But in any case, I think that's probably good enough for the camera recorded portion. Plays just fine. So why don't we go and wrap this video on up now? Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Demonology at 1440p on the ASUS G15 Advantage, and it handled it no problem. Might have a random stutter every now and again, but nothing that makes the game unplayable or anything like that. It's definitely not Stutter City either, not like it was on the Steam Deck, but I think that's probably just some Linux compatibility issues or something like that. Who knows? But now we can go move on to 1440p, and we can see if the secondary computer, or not 14, but ultra wide, and we can see if the secondary computer supports that and move on to that if not we will just move on to the main computer but that's all we got for this particular video so i sure hope you guys enjoyed watching it because i sure as hell enjoyed making this video for you guys and until the next video peace out guys